Hey loves, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Evita and on my channel, I like to post videos about my budget, my journey to becoming debt free and also cash stuff in videos. If that sounds like something you'll be interested in, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you find yourself enjoying today's video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. In today's video, I am gonna be updating my budget for this month, the month of February. So, I bracelet keeps hitting the desk sounds crazy but anyways let's just go over everything so far today is the 25th I know I haven't really been checking in but nothing really has been happening so both of my paychecks for this month were 16 19 I may do instacart tomorrow other than that I have not done it this month I thought I did do it this month let me check real quick give me a second well, I guess I didn't do any Instacart so far this month. I may go tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. YouTube, I made $104. Other nothing. And I resold some stuff for $44. And then I had a rollover from last month of a of $508. So I'm not going to add that up just in case I do Instacart. Resell some stuff or some other type of way I may receive money. So I'm not going to add it up just yet rent is going up next month starting next month so that's gonna be i can't remember what my i think it's gonna be like 600 now but um this month my my portion of the rent was 575 electric isn't due until the 28th again today's the 25th it's not really due until i can't remember like the third or something but i like to pay it on the 28th so i put it on the 28th so that i'm not going to pay that 182 dollars until like monday or something id protect was four dollars i paid four dollars car insurance was um 135 dollars i paid 135 dollars the internet was 93 dollars and i paid 93 dollars credit monitoring was 12 dollars and i paid 12 dollars the car wash was 32 and i paid 32 of course i'm not gonna add that oh wait no i can't add that up let's go ahead and add all of that up all right so that total 1033 dollars of course i don't have any from my uh income for this month so we're gonna leave that as is now you guys i have been messing up horribly this month like this balance has gone up i don't know what i don't know what's going on i have to really get myself together like seriously i'm thinking like what did i spend money on i just needed to get it together. i need to get it together like i don't know what happened like i've lost my motivation sort of like me getting sick and not really keeping up with it like i was before has really thrown me off where i've lost my motivation I again need to take this credit card, this Capital One credit card out of my purse, which I am going to do. But Capital One has gone up. It's not the end of the month just yet. So I'll probably have that in my next budget of, hey, how much did I actually pay and whatnot? Because right now, all I've been doing is paying like what I use. I don't know why I do it. It just makes absolutely no sense to me and why I do that. Like, hey, I'll use it. And then I get home and then pay it right off. Like, why didn't you just use your debit card or use your cash, Evita? Because I don't know why I do it. It's crazy. Uh, but anyways, access one, $33.95 was the balance. I paid $227. Our budget at $227 and I actually paid $227. I will talk about like all of my debt in my debt free Friday. But gap $7,831 paid two hundred or budgeted $266 paid $266. AMR balance $714 budgeted $56 paid $56. There's a star by this because my this payment is not really actually in my budget. It comes off of my HSA. So I just want to start about it. To know hey don't add this up with your budget but you did actually pay something towards it umc fifty seven thousand three hundred and thirty eight dollars i budgeted a hundred dollars and actually paid one hundred dollars on to my bank sinking funds so gifts i budgeted 200 and i put 200 kids i budgeted 40 and put 50 travel i budgeted 50 and put 100 i had these two backwards that's why but emergency budgeted 200 i put 200 house budgeted 200 put 200 
fund i budgeted 100 and put 50. so i can actually add those ones up as well that gave us a total of 800 dollars of course i don't have a leftover but i have not put anything in my envelopes oops didn't have it all the way on screen sorry you guys i have not put anything on or in my envelopes just yet um oh except groceries groceries i've already spent that 254 i did of course i did put something in groceries um so i did put that already but other than that i haven't done any other envelope for my regular envelopes nor in my sinking fund envelopes maybe i'll do it um this upcoming but that's gonna put it into marches taking it out of marches yeah i have been so jacked up this month oh <sighs> i don't know what's been going on i won't lie anyways you guys i am thinking about posting budget mails let me know if you guys would be interested in that and the comments down below i also thinking about putting or posting how i budget shop for like groceries and like how i meal plan i did do it a while back on how i actually meal plan but if you guys want to see how i save money when i go grocery shopping and just buying necessities for around the house let me know in the comments down below but if you enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i will talk to you all in my next one bye